Hello, Namaskar. Welcome to another video. I'm Dr. Electronics. I hope you're doing well. In this video, I will show you how I made another aluminium mining frame to free up this cramped up 12 GPU mining rig. I'm a DIYer and I've done this before. Let's get through the list of raw materials. I've used aluminium struts for making the frame structure and the GPUs will be resting on a wooden block. For this frame, I have used 2.5 inches or 6 cm gypsum screws to hold the frame structure. I did buy 100 grams of these gypsum screws from the hardware store. And I already have this measuring tape. Another important tool is the drill cum screw driving machine. If you don't have a machine like this, you can use a hand drill or another alternative tool. The purpose of this video is to show you that you can do it yourself. If you can't, just order it from somewhere. I have already made a reference drawing for making this frame. All the measurements were done using the specifications of the existing mining grid so that the new one can be placed on top of it. A picture of the reference design is always helpful for placing and aligning your struts, your structure elements for matching up both the frame's base dimensions. Here I am making all the measurements and markings. Measuring twice so that there is no error in execution. I had to align the C-shaped groove in the structure with the pilot holes for the screws. In this case, the alignment had to be perfect so that the screws could hold the structure with strength. Now just for the sake of demonstration, this is what happens when you start using the drill without making indentations for the pilot holes. The drill bit starts to run off from the mark and will definitely miss the spot. Just make physical indentations using an indentation tool or simply using your screw to hammer in the indentation to mark the spot. Before using your drill machine on these indentations, it is always advisable to measure twice. I am very cautiously using my drill machine, but if you plan to execute this work, please always wear protective gear. I have used a wooden block to rest my GPUs and riser base. I always fear the impending danger of a short circuit due to the failure of a riser padding below the riser PCB. So in this mining frame design, I have utilized this wooden log to rest my GPUs and risers. Similar philosophy for this kind of work, measure twice and execute once.
in case you plan to use sharp tools always wear protective gear i always recommend it i know my strength and what i'm doing here that is why i'm taking the risk and the piece comes off we have measured twice and have cut the perfect size finally checking for alignment and placement before screwing it in permanently and after two and a half hours my frame is ready to make things final i will place a gpu on a riser and place it on this frame so that any misalignments can be rectified and altered before making it to the final stage as can be seen the gpu plus riser aligns perfectly with the height of the frame and the wooden base now for creating the platform for the power supply and the motherboard i will be using this plywood and cut off 10 inch pieces in length and will screw them onto the base The mining frame is complete and is placed on top of the mining frame that has to be freed up. As I have shown earlier, these graphic cards need to be placed sparsely so that they can be cooled effectively during the summers. It's quite evident that these thick graphic cards take up a lot of space. As you can see here, the space between these graphic cards only is the width of my thumb, which is definitely bad for cooling. So the plan of action will be to free up the left side of the six graphic card rigs to the upper frame and distributing these six AMD graphic cards equally along this frame. And the NVIDIA graphic cards will be placed on top. Stage one of our execution is complete. We have evenly spread out the AMD graphic cards along this frame. Previously, there wasn't enough space between them for cooling. Now, as you can see, they are almost my hands were apart from each other and i think this is adequate enough we will move on to the next stage and on our new mining frame we will place the nvidia graphic cards as can be seen i'm placing these graphic cards evenly across the length of the frame and making new pilot holes for these pci brackets on the frame After spending more than three and a half hours on this project, I have been able to execute what I had planned and it is successful. I am already seeing a difference of three to four degrees Celsius in the temperatures and it makes me confident that these graphic card will run better during the summers. That is it for this video. I hope you liked my project. If you did, do hit that like button and if you want to see more of my content, please do consider subscribing. It helps the community grow. Thank you very much for coming. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.